What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom slider using Elementor. Now I haven't seen any videos out there using this um, method here so you guys are definitely in for a treat. Now if you are wondering how I built this website here I actually have a course where I go over building this website entirely and also pretty much how to run a website agency business so if you guys are wondering how to do that feel free to send me a message and um, I'll definitely add you guys to the list this course isn't out yet but it's something that I'm currently filming um, and it's gonna offer quite a bit from um, doing the sales to doing the onboarding to building your website and for your client and doing everything that you pretty much need to run a successful website agency now I've been doing this for about four years now and it is just been going great. I just have been working from home, so um, can't really uh, complain. So if you guys are interested in that, just uh, feel free to just send me a message and I will definitely add you guys to the list. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go ahead and click on the dashboard. And then go to your plugins and we're gonna, just going to need two plugins here we're going to need um slide we're going to need the plugin that's called slide anything um and this plugin looks like this if you guys haven't seen it before um so just go ahead and search for slide anything it, it's literally the first one and then you're going to need any anywhere elementor just because we are going to need going to be using um the short codes for each template, but if you do have the pro version, then you're not going to need anywhere Elementor. You can just use the short codes that the templates already provide. So, first thing that we're going to need to do is, of course, create our slides. So, head over to um, AE templates, which is just um, everywhere Elementor, and let's go ahead and add our new slide here. Um, and we're going to call this slide one. And I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And I'm going to edit this one with Elementor. And I'm going to choose. I'm going to actually choose for my blocks. Now, of course, if you're creating something custom, then that's totally up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and um, grab something for my blocks. If you're familiar with Elementor, then um, you might already know how to how to build um, your slider just by editing um, your template here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that block there. And then I'm gonna minimize, I'm gonna actually remove this. Actually, I'm gonna make this a little smaller just because I don't want that, I don't want that jeopardizing the size of my uh, column here. Now you'll kind of notice that. So I'm gonna make sure that this one, so this one is, is actually the, the main one giving the height. Um, and basically it is pretty important here and you'll kind of see why whenever you're creating your slide. So go ahead and click on this section and you'll see our minimum height. We're going to bring that down to about, um, to about 45. Now, if we had this one larger, you'll notice that this one was larger and it was set to where it was. You notice that it would make our, um, our column a little, a little, um, longer there. And we don't want this, um, this image to, to, uh, uh, to pretty much justify our um, our height there, um, so we want we want to be in control of our height. We don't want the image to control our height, so that's why it's very important that you uh, you kind of make sure um, that each slide that you create has to be the exact same size. Um, so I'm gonna click on this section here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my minimum height is set to 45, and that's all good there. So. If you guys don't know how to use Elementor, we can just start clicking on this and just pretty much editing whatever you want. Um, you can go ahead and add your text here. You can customize your button. I do have some other videos on that. If you want to learn more about how to customize a block, I would suggest just taking my course. Um, I might have it in the description if you're watching this probably a month from now. So, And then if you want to just change up your image, maybe add a different um, different product, you can go ahead and click that and just upload your image there. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. But one thing I did forget actually, guys, is go ahead and click on your section and make sure that it's that your, 
your section is set to um, full width and then click update. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave that, that um, this window open as well because I'm gonna be using that just to make sure that I have the same height. So the most important thing is that you just need to make sure that, you, that, your, that your sections are the same height. Um, so go to your dashboard and then go to um, AE templates again. And let's go ahead and add a new template. And let's call this slide two. And then I'm gonna go ahead, go for my templates. And I'm gonna go to my blocks and I'm pretty much gonna add the same one. Here, I'm gonna add the same one here. Or you know what? Actually it would probably be better guys that we do, just so, just so then we get this right, is copy this one. Go ahead and right click it and copy it. So off the bat we have the same size, right? And let's go ahead and change this image to something else. I'm going to change it to this image here and I'm going to go ahead and expand this and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't adjust that it doesn't just that it doesn't um, make my my uh, section height longer so I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to go ahead and click on the section again and I'm just going to change the color to blue and then I'm going to go ahead and update this now we have two slides that are the same height, which is perfect. Now I'm going to go to my dashboard here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this tab open here so I can grab these, um, these short codes for each template. And then I'm going to go back to my other um, tab that I had and I'm going to go to um, SA sliders, which is pretty much um, it's pretty much the plugin that we just got slide anything. So let's go ahead and add our slide. And then let's name this home page. Um, sorry. Home page slide. And let's go ahead and adjust these settings. Now these settings are pretty important. Actually, they're very important or else it will not work and you're gonna have issues. So definitely click on allow short codes. And then I always remove um, this one right here which is pretty much just your your little dots. So just go ahead and um and uh, uncheck that. Leave everything else, touch grab, that's fine. You know, um, we might actually wanna use auto height as well, um, but we can just leave that as is. So honestly, I've not messed with that part too much. So from here, um, I'm gonna remove the padding at the top. So the padding at the top and the sides. I don't want any padding. And then over here, where is it? Right here. See where it says minimum height? Leave that to zero. Leave that down to zero. Perfect. And then over here, other settings. This is probably the most important setting. Make sure that's checked, or else it might. One of the slides might not show. It'll probably end up being blank. If you if you're having issues with that, it's probably because um, you don't have this checked. So once you have that all set up, those settings. Now we can go ahead and grab our short codes. So go to your short codes, go ahead and grab this one here, which is um, actually grab the first one, slide one, because this is going to be our slider. Let's remove that and let's add the short code in there. And our second slide, we're going to do the exact same thing, exact same thing, except we're going to grab our second slide here. And go ahead and replace this slide. And then this one over here, we're gonna go ahead and remove. Now you can add a third one if you're, if you're gonna have a third slide, but I'm only gonna have two slides. So now we have our first slide and our second slide. Make sure the short codes are different. They have to be different. Um, okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna go to update this. And I'm gonna grab the short code here. You can just copy it as well. Now we just gotta edit our home page. So. I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to edit my home page. And I'm going to remove this for now. And then I'm going to go in here and type in shortcode. 
And then I'm going to drag it over here. Scroll up a little bit here. Here we go. Okay, let me move this over here now. Um, you know what? Sorry about that. Um, add a section here. Totally forgot. Add a section. Perfect. There we go. And then go ahead and search for your short code. Add your short code in here. Click on your section. Make sure this is set to full width. Now go back to in here and then go ahead and add your short code in there. Now you will see this big space here. That's fine. Go ahead and click update. Now I'm going to click that and I'm going to view this. Okay. So now you you can see, oh, wow. Like, you know, the slider is working, but not full width, right? Which is one of the issues here. And it's not also showing our other side as well. So what we need to do, make sure that this is set to full width. Let's update that. There we go. So now as you can tell, that part is set up to full width. That's perfect. Now we can see our, our image and everything's fine. Everything's looking great. So we still, as you can tell, have some spacing on the sides. Now what you're going to do is go into column gaps and remove your gaps and then click update and then bam. Now it's set to full width. And if you mobile optimize this as well, this should be mobile optimized. Um, I haven't really tested it out on mobile too much. Um, might be a little bit glitchy. Just let me know guys. Um, but this is kind of a really cool way that I found out to actually show your slider. Um, but uh, you know what? It works perfectly on mobile. There we go. You probably just need to mobile optimize this. I I didn't mobile optimize this. I would have probably moved this to the center. Um, but it's looking gray as well. We probably just need to optimize uh, the tablet version, which you can just do that with Elementor. Um, so another issue that you might have, I'm going to actually copy this here. And I'm just kind of running through scenarios that you might have because um, this was kind of just uh, something I had to figure out. And I did have to do some digging to make the slider work. So, okay, there we go there. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my history and then I'm just gonna go back to how I had it. So I have this, uh, this section here with this girl. I'm gonna go ahead and add, uh, actually I'm gonna copy this section in here. There we go. I'm gonna remove this one, sorry. And then I'm, I'm basically just adding the section above this girl. So I'm just giving you guys a scenario where you might you might have a a section, um, another section that's you know has a different color here under here, and you notice that we have this gap. So honestly, I've not been able to remove this gap. The only way to do it is pretty much doing this way. So just grab this section up here, the bottom one, and then go to your margins, and then just go negative. And you probably want to do like negative thirty seven, and basically until you clear that gap, pretty much. There we go. So that worked. But so that's actually pretty cool. So that's how you would remove that gap there. But I did I did want to add auto height. I didn't really mess with auto height. So I'm actually just going to do that as an experiment here. So I haven't tried it, but you guys should be all set already. That's what you want to do. But if you guys are wondering what this auto height does, let's see if that actually would have worked instead. I haven't tried it. Um, okay, so that didn't really make too much of a difference, but it probably would have helped out for the other things. But Anyway, so yeah, I, I would just go ahead and do what I did to remove this gap here. Um, which is just like I said, added to negative 37 and that was a little more than we needed, but hey, it works. So yeah, so that's just how I would go ahead and go ahead and do this. Um, I honestly have not seen any videos on this, but I'm sure after this one, you'll probably start to see more videos on this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, it's actually really cool. So if you're if you're as a as kind of hyped over this as I am, because we can do a lot of things now, right? We don't have to go and use um, smart sliders or any of those, and use our complicated you know builder, which is great, but it's not the best. It's not like Elementor, and uh, now we can go ahead and actually use the Elementor builder to build a slider, and we can customize it however, however, yeah, pretty much however. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys do with this because I think you guys are probably going to be able to do some pretty cool sliders. 
um, definitely send them my way um, and I'll definitely check those out. So just go ahead and comment down below um, if you kind of really like this video. And of course, make sure to subscribe so then you can uh, you can see all the other cool things that I come out with um, regarding building websites or, or uh, marketing. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.